Listen, this, these two exercises right here in general, this push-pull is going to have massive benefits for helping you guys build that aesthetic physique, right? Line them up, line them up, knock them down. Yeah. Yeah. They said it was a grind. They said it takes time, yeah, I know. I guess they weren't lying. Every time I try to climb, they cut the rope. I fell straight to the bottom, got problems, I don't really want to talk about them, no. I've been down this road too many times to be afraid, I close my eyes when I walk down it. What's going on, YouTube? You're back with the praise. And we're in the home gym today, and today I'm going to be bringing you a full body weight only shoulder and back workout. Listen, if you guys are really trying to build an aesthetic physique, meaning something that's visually pleasing, you guys got to really focus on building up stronger and broader delts, as well as a wider back. Everyone thinks that it's the wide back that makes your body pop out with that V taper, but it's actually the shoulders. They're the pinnacle of the whole physique. The lats attached to the top of your body. It's the shoulders that pop out of your shirt. So building strong, broad shoulders is the key to having a nice aesthetic physique, which is going to help give you that illusion of a nice wide V taper and narrow waist. So predominantly, the best exercise you guys could do, compound version of an exercise for body weight training, is a handstand push up. Handstand push-ups are going to mimic overhead pressing where they're going to work the full shoulder. Remember, the shoulder is comprised of three muscles. you got the anterior delt, the side delt, and the rear delt. Even though it's one big muscle, it's broken down into three subcategories. Now, we're going to be working overhead pressing strength with body weight, so we're going to be doing handstand push-ups for our main exercise. And you guys know I like to train shoulders and back together for the fact that they move so well together in a pattern of motion, as well as them being the two Primarily muscle, primary muscle groups are going to help you build that wide V tapered aesthetic upper body physique. So the first exercise of the day is going to be strength work for handstand press up. So I'm going to be doing stomach to the wall reps, lower volume. Remember, back to the wall is an easier variation. I do that when I want to do more volume in the exercise. When I want to hit 10 to 12, 10 to 15 rep ranges, that's when I'll go back to the wall. Now when I'm trying to keep it more strength, which is going to have a better translation over to freestanding handstand push ups. We're going to go stomach to the wall. So we're going to go stomach to the wall for a low volume, three to five reps to set. And we're going to superset that with ring chin-ups. Remember, rings are going to be the healthiest for your shoulders in general, right? Because they're going to allow your body and your arms to move freely through the range of motion. So we're going to start in a pronated grip and we're going to be pulling to supinated chin-up at the end. That's the beauty of the rings. It's going to allow the shoulder joint to move from internal to external rotation, rotating around its joint very healthily. So... The pulls are going to go 6 to 10 reps, and the push are going to go, with the handstand push-ups, are going to be in that 3 to 5 rep range. So the first exercise is going to be a superset. The intensity of this workout is going to be very high. We're going to be doing two exercises back-to-back -back throughout the whole routine, really working on strength and hypertrophy in the opposite muscle group. So strength-based work for the shoulders, more hypertrophy work for the back. Let's get it. All right, guys, like always, before I get into any routine, I always warm up, and I definitely recommend everybody warming up before they get into their workouts. Now, remember, warming up should be specific to the workouts and the muscle groups that you guys are going to be using. It is not the time to be doing static isometric stretching. That's going to stretch the muscle out and put it in a relaxed state. A relaxed muscle is going to be prone to injury during a workout. You do not want to relax the muscle prior to working it out. So you want to do a little dynamic warm-up with the muscles that are going to be used during the routine. So like always, guys, I'm very big on shoulder mobility and shoulder warm-up because everything in calisthenics is going to stem from that shoulder joint, and it's a very common injury. So like always, you guys are going to see I'm doing my full shoulder rotations with the band, and after each one, I'm doing a band pull-apart, really focusing on pulling from the scapula and the delts there. And then straight from there, guys, I always like to warm up my elbow joint specifically. So here I'm going to be working the extensors. So we're going to be doing a band tricep pushdowns. The reason why I like doing this on a band also is because you feel a little bit of the instability from the band, right? You have to fight the resistance back up. Even though you're not getting much resistance on the way up, you do got to fight the tension as it stretches back to its normal length. So I like to aim for 12 to 15 reps of these band tricep pushdowns. Again, it's really good for my elbow, helps warm up the elbow extensor, which is the tricep muscle, just before we get into all our main movements, right? So right after this, you guys are going to see, I'm going to go into some scapula work, where I get on the pull-up bar, and again, guys, remember, scapula works through elevation, depression, protraction, and retraction. When you're on a pull-up bar, the scapula is going to work through retraction and depression, so that's what you guys are going to see me get into now. 
and again this is a straight arm movement really healthy for the whole posterior chain really good for putting your shoulders into alignment and listen the stronger you get at this movement right here the stronger front lever you guys are going to have right so this movement right here is going to have a great carryover to front lever strength and activation so i typically go for about four to six just scapula pose really just to warm up the pull muscles in the posterior chain and that's my warm-up guys see you at the workout All right, guys, so getting into the first set, we are doing stomach to the wall, handstand push-ups. Like I said, this is going to be our main strength-based exercise for our shoulders, and we're going nose to the floor, five reps here. The goal is to hit three to five reps, and they're catching five reps, so we push for five reps for all three sets. Now, remember, these forward leaning with the stomach to the wall are going to mimic freestanding handstands the best, as opposed to doing back to the wall. Like I mentioned earlier, back to the wall. I do it now for more volume, but if you're a beginner, back to the wall may still be hard for you. And straight right, from there, push. right to pull-ups, guys. Take it out and give yourself 10, 15 seconds, and go right to your pull variation. Now, if you guys don't have rings, I recommend doing a chin-up today. So instead of going for pulls, today's we're going back to the since we're going stomach to the wall, we're gonna hit chin-ups, which are gonna allow you to open up your chest, really retract those shoulder blades, pulling your chest to the bar. So we're on the rings today which is gonna really allow you to open those shoulder blades up and extend your chest, lift your chest through the rings. So, five handstand push-ups, ten pulls. We're going three total sets this, we're gonna to try to hit five, ten every round. Now you guys saw, on the pulls, at dead hand, my shoulders and my hands are in pronated grip, and as I go into the pull and pull up, I'm rotating into supinated, pulling my shoulder blades down and back, pulling my elbow back, and lifting my chest up, aiming, thinking about bringing my chest through the rings. So, First set down, listen, this, these two exercises right here in general, this push-pull is going to have massive benefits for helping you guys build that aesthetic physique, right? Everyone always wants to do pull-push with just dips or push-ups and pull-ups and you neglect the shoulders. Listen, you're going to get your chest involved in these presses, you're going to hit upper chest, plus you're going to be hitting chest in every exercise that you're almost doing, dips, push-ups, muscle-ups, and we have our own chest workouts for that too. So shoulders and back guys, train them, it's going to have you flowing with your body in unison through, through smart and healthy patterns of movement. Two more sets, let's get it. Alright guys, second set, we're resting two minutes between each round right now. Let's go, we got to get another five presses. Remember guys, the reason why I'm going stomach to the wall is because I want to be able to hit rep ranges in the three to five reps, right? That's primarily strength building. So I'm focusing on building overhead pressing strength and I'm doing it with handstand push-ups here. Now, if I want to do more volume, like I said, I would have went back to the wall. But if you're a beginner and you're just building strength in the handstand position, I recommend still doing it back to the wall because if you're a beginner and you're building up strength, you will still be in that lower volume rep range with your back to the wall. Let's go. Let's go, set three.
sets of five handstand press ups, stomach to the wall, super setted with the ring chin ups. Two minute break between each round. Listen, my heart rate is still going and I rested about three minutes now after that last set. It was a very intense exercise. Even though I'm only doing 10 reps body weight chin ups, I'm focusing on locking out, dead stopping, pausing on top for one to two second pause on top, really squeezing and contracting the lats, right? Plus, I told you, going straight from the handstand press is going to really activate the whole shoulder because you're blowing up the shoulders with the handstand push-ups, and then when you go to that dead hang on the rings, being able to twist, you're rotating that shoulder through external and internal rotation throughout the whole rep. It's a very healthy movement for the shoulder, and again, shoulders and back, just that pattern of motion that they get to work together is going to help all your calisthenic exercises flow better and look cleaner. So now... You guys have seen this before, I told you guys, the shoulder is, compr is comprised of three specific muscle groups. You got the anterior, which is the front, the side delt, and the posterior, which is the rear delt, right? So the pressing is going to target the full shoulder. And then when we go to those ring chins, we're going to get a lot of stimulation in the posterior delt. From the squeeze and from going through internal and external rotation, that rear delt is going to get a lot of activation. Now we're going to go to a more side delt specific exercise, which you guys have seen before. And again, one of my favorite, favorite overall bodyweight strength builders. You guys can do this on regular parallel bars. Just doing L sits are going to extremely strengthen your whole body weight to strength ratio, right? Really making you more and more relatively strong. And doing them on the rings is just going to add a whole other level of difficulty, intensity, and make you even stronger because we're going to work with all the stabilizers. And we're going to be doing them in a wide position today to make it even harder. Now, again, I told you guys, working shoulders and back together. So we're going to go for a 15, a 10 to 15 second wide L hold, and we're going to drop down straight and strict into an L sit muscle up negative. So let's go, set one. So you want to come down from the L right into a straight arm, control the negative rep muscle up. Now, it's very strenuous, you're going to get a lot of stretch on that eccentric part of the muscle up negative, you're going to really strengthen and build strong lats. So that's the first set, 15 second wide L hold into a negative muscle up, three sets of everything today guys, two minute break, I'll see you with set two. Here we go, set two. Let's go guys, third set, and you can see by the 10 second mark on these rings, I'm shaking, my shoulders are already a little fatigued, and holding wide is really going to stimulate a lot of side delt activation, so let's go. That muscle up wasn't that clean going down. I try to hold the form. But again, I was getting really fatigued. Could barely hold myself up any longer. So three sets of this superset. I told you, 
everything shoulders and back and training them calisthenic style is going to really help you master that full body control, full body tension and letting your body flow with all the limbs in a nice unison, nice in sync uh, pattern of movement. So, three sets, on to the next routine. Alright guys, so, that last exercise, like I said, prim primarily is going to target the side delt as well as the whole posterior chain, so yes, the rear delt is also going to get activation, but now we're going to go into a more rear delt specific shoulder exercise, and we're going to superset that with another back routine. So, now, if you guys don't have rings, you guys have seen me do this before on a parallel bar, on a dip bar, we're going to be doing face pulls. Now, the benefit of the rings, you're going to get a better contraction, you're going to be able to pull deeper, and again, your arms are going to be able to move a little more freely and independently as being opposed to fixed on a bar. So. We're going to go 6 to 12 reps on the face pulls now, and then we're going to go supersetting that right with our back exercise. And now guys, the lower the rings are, the harder this exercise is going to be. Like always guys, when doing these face pulls, whether you're doing them on a bar or the rings, you want to imagine that you're pulling your body up to the rings by using your rear delts. Imagine initiating the pull with the delts. That's how you're going to get the full contraction and that's how you're going to feel the muscle squeeze every repetition. Alright guys, right from there, we're going to be going to a back exercise. Now we're going to be going behind the neck pull-ups. So let me raise the camera. I don't know if you guys can see this fully right now. So we're going to raise this camera a little bit. Remember this, we're gonna, again, you guys are going to need healthy shoulders. I showed you guys in a prior video, do these three exercises for really healthy shoulder blades and shoulder mobility. So if you guys don't have that shoulder mobility, you may have to skip this next exercise. But if that's the case, you guys could do head to the bar pulls like this, right? But now, like I said, we're going behind the neck pull-ups. Watch, guys. And you see there, lower volume on the pose, higher volume on the shoulder work. So. Every exercise, we're getting a little bit of strength aspect to it, as well as a hypertrophy aspect. And we're going to keep our body moving in a nice movement pattern where the shoulder joint and push-pull uh, exercises are going to really flow together in a very healthy and safe manner. So, two more sets of these face pulls, superset it with behind-the-neck pull-ups. And that's going to be a wrap of the routine, guys. I'm not going to film the last two sets for you guys. I don't want the video to be too long. So... Very simple and effective high intensity routine. The first routine, really, really building up that shoulder press strength, right? Stomach to the wall is gonna be a harder variation for me than going back to the wall. So if you're a beginner starting out, back to the wall, you may be working still in that one to five rep range. Work at whatever variation is comfortable for you to build up that basic press strength. Once you guys can nail three to five sets of five by five, now you guys can start working in more volume. And again, beginners, the easiest way for you guys to learn and build up volume is going to be back to the wall in a safer aspect, right? You're not going to have to worry about tipping over forward and hurting yourself. If you're stomach to the wall and you get fatigued, it's very hard to save yourself from injury if you're going to fall and hurt and collapse, right? If you're under extreme fatigue. So I definitely recommend back to the wall for beginners, then graduate more down to stomach to the wall if you're more intermediate, which is going to have a better translation over to freestanding. Handstand push-ups, which are going to be the best exercise pretty much you guys can do for overall shoulder strength and development, right? Remember, planches and everything are going to target the shoulders a lot too, but it's going to place a lot of emphasis on the front delt. Overhead pressing, if you're doing bar by military press, is going to be the best exercise you guys can do in the gym. And the best body weight exercise you guys can do for yourself is handstand push-up and whatever variation that is for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this routine. Full shoulder and back workout. Three main exercises. For each, for each muscle group, and we superseted everything. So, again guys, you, gotta, you don't got to keep the volume very high because we're hitting every muscle group two to three times a week, and like always, I've told you guys this a hundred times, I don't look at my program as a week, 
I look at it as a bigger picture throughout. So throughout every 10 days, I'm hitting every muscle group three times, right? So within a week, sometimes it's two to three times in that seven days. But within 10 days, I'm hitting every muscle group three times minimum. And that's how you guys are going to notice progress and make the most gains. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, share with your friends, your family. You, want, you guys don't need any equipment for this. Just rings. I definitely recommend you guys checking out uh, Pull Up and Dip Official. I'll put a link in the description. They got great gymnastic rings. They also got attachable pull-up bars. I'll be demoing all that stuff out for you guys in another video soon. But check out the link in the description. And uh, like always, guys, I really appreciate all the support. Like the video. It really helps the algorithms out. Share it. Leave a comment. Or if you have a question, leave it in the comment section. I always get back to you guys. And like always, peace out. Bar Naturals. I die, I'm top three. For a die, I'm top three. For a die, look.